percutaneous surgery means is really not surgery at all, I would say. It's more of a, it's a day surgery, it's a day procedure. Uh, we're doing this for kidney cancer now. We have this trial up and running. And it means that we're, instead of doing a surgery to remove a tumor, we're inserting a needle into a tumor and we're ablating it. Uh, and we do the same type of procedure for kidney stones as opposed to making a large incision or even several small incisions to do laparoscopy. Make a single hole using a needle and use a very small instrument through that needle hole to take out the kidney stone. Patients ask me where are they going to feel and I routinely tell them that they're going to feel the same way they do when they do a blood draw. That pain that you feel with that needle stick to get your blood drawn is about what it's going to feel like to have that surgery done. It is true not everybody's a candidate, although we're getting pretty slick. We're getting to the point where there's very few tumors that we can't ablate this way. Uh, it, and the caveat is that we don't know how long we have to follow somebody after we do this to make sure that it's dead, to make sure that it's gone. Uh, but if it fails, we can repeat the same procedure. You know, if we, it's not unlike freezing a wart off your hand. You know, you freeze the wart and hopefully it goes away. And if a remnant of the wart is still there, we can refreeze that segment. And that can also be said of cryoablation, percutaneous cryoablation of uh, renal mass. Uh, and it's really best reserved for people who are not all that healthy, who can't undergo a surgical removal of the tumor. I wouldn't at all be surprised if the majority, if not all patients, are treated this way in the future. There are major advantages and benefits to it, and um, medicine moves slowly. We're conser conservative folks. We don't want to change to a new technology unless we know that we're still doing a good job, and that's, that is a perfectly valid response to what we're talking about. Um, we believe that we've designed a, a process and a program that allows us to do a good job, to do an excellent job, a job that mirrors what it's like to remove that organ without putting the patient at great surgical risk.